His glasses stare into my soul! Yeah, Hello everyone and welcome back to the walkthrough! It's wiggly tough time, because you see... I said that there's a way to build the wiggly tough deck. You know, just built completely around the wiggly tough. And I'm gonna show you how this works here. <laughs> this thing is so fast! And so powerful, you will not believe it. So we got Fighting and Double Colorless. And these are all the Pokémon we've got. We got 4 Hitmonlee. Stretch Kick for attacking stuff that's got, like, resistances otherwise against my Fighting Pokémon. And, or, you know, just to avoid any active Pokémon issues in general. High Jump Kicks, pretty decent. 3 for 50 in general. Uh, the Hitmonchan, you know this Hitmonchan, we've seen that many times. Seen this Jigglypuff many times, and this Wigglytuff many times, but you, you'd think, like, how, how the heck are you gonna fuel the Wigglytuff with just 12 basic Pokémon? Ah, here's where the trainer cards come into play. Not the energy removal, that's just, that's our utility here. You got Professor Oak, Challenge, Moonstone, Pokemon Trader, Bill, Bill's Teleporter, and a bonus just to show you how it works. Rocket Sneak Attack to kind of prevent some, uh, s well, sneak attacks <laughs> of the opponent. So you can uh, look at the opponent's hand to see what they've got, and then put a trainer card that'll be most impactful to you back to the deck. So with all this draw power, and yes, I would even recommend using Challenge if you played this in real life, because you're going to fill up your bench with it, which helps Wigglytuff as well. With all this draw power, everything draws into everything else that draws into everything else, and etc, etc, until you just basically fill up everything at a, such a rapid pace, and then you evolve into Wigglytuff, double colorless energy, game over. <laughs> so, are you ready to see this in action, because we're going right now, and Heather, I'm so sorry, but this deck that I made, it's so powerful, it might be the most powerful deck I've ever made, maybe even more powerful than Rain Dance. <laughs> Just wait till you see how this rolls. So we're gonna lead with Hitmonchan, put Jigglypuff on the back burner there, and look at, look at our draw power already. Because that's that's basically most of our deck here. <laughs> and there we go. Well, besides the energy cards, of course. You know, you always gotta have the energy. I actually thought about having less energy in favor of more, like, Pokemon traders and stuff like that. But I figured in case I got someone that uses a lot of energy removal, that could be an issue. Alright, let's try the coin flip. If I get heads, I get four cards. That looks pretty good to me. Now, oh, there's the Wigglytuff already. <laughs> So, yeah, we're, we're looking pretty good here. And thus, the draws just draw into the draws. Rocket Sneak Attack, let's see that hand. Mm, I think that Defender is going to be my worst enemy, so I'm going to go ahead and get rid of that. And jab that Paris. So I could Professor Oak, but I obviously don't want to because I got the Wigglytuff already. So, yeah, I'll Professor Oak... Um, when I get Wigglytuff in play, you know, basically I want to fill up everything with everything that I absolutely can here. So now I'm going to drop the Wiggly Surprise, and also did not, never, never accept the challenge uh, against the Wigglytuff deck, by the way. <laughs> uh, let's go Energy Removal. Actually, wait, wait, wait. Energy Removal at Leaf and Bell, and then... I suppose we should probably get that Wiggly going and just continue jabbing for the moment in time. So, yeah, the idea, the idea of having all these high HP basic Pokemon like Hitmonchan and Hitmonlee and the Jigglypuff is just to have something that's very difficult for the opponent to knock out in general because you need the bench Pokemon to do your thing and if you don't, well, well... You know, if they're knocked out, then you're gonna kind of have ire all over the place. So now that I got Wigglytuff going, I can switch to it on the next turn, and then... Game over! <laughs> so yeah, that's kind of kind of the speed. Ooh, Rocket Sneak Attack, and I only got one choice of that. I kind of mashed buttons there, but it worked out. 
Uh, God, I clicked the one that I wanted to click anyway, but I was at an or Vile Plume. So I need one more basic Pokémon just to get Wiggly to the max. I don't, but does it really matter when I can use Challenge and get some more cards? Which will probably lead to a basic. Oh, look at that! There's a basic. <laughs> See how this works? And guess what? With Moonstone. I can use that to pull out another Wigglytuff for the future, so why don't we put that in play right away and retreat to the Wigglytuff, and then we do the wave. <laughs> now since I'm doing 60 damage each attack, and nothing resists colorless Pokémon, good luck stopping this! <laughs> um, uh, see, the Weeping Bell is just a little bit outside my attack range, but that's okay. I, I, I can still do 60 damage to it. I mean, who's gonna complain about doing 60 damage to that? <laughs> so yeah, like I said, this is probably the most powerful deck I've ever created. And it's immensely fun to use as a result of that. Because you just bowl over everything speedrun style. And, you know, like, if you think about it, this might be the sort of deck that you'd want to use if you're gonna speedrun things, you know? Oh, I should try Bill's Teleporter. I don't know if I'll get heads every time. In fact, I probably won't get heads every time, but, you know, it's just the thing of that I could, and it would be pretty nice. Chances are one of them I'm gonna play is gonna give me heads. I'm looking for another double colorless energy, by the way. Uh, for the other Wigglytuff, just for the sake of speed. I guess I might as well keep trying. <laughs> Look how much, how much draw power I've got on this. There's my double colorless. Put that on there. And we do the wave. Not that I really needed to do that because the sweep is impending. But you know, it's just a thing of demonstration purposes. Also, with so much draw power, you've got to watch out not to deck yourself. Because, yeah, if you run out of cards, you lose anyway, so. The idea is to accelerate things as fast as possible with the draw power, but just watch the cards in your deck. Andrew's up next, fighting types. Will that mean the Wiggly is in danger? Not really, I mean I'm gonna get like 80 Wigglies, so... <laughs> and Hitmonchan is up first, I got a whole bunch of draw power already, as you would expect. Ooh, Rocket Sneak Attack on the first turn. Oh, I only got one choice, and it's not that important of a choice. <laughs> it's got the switch. And we go, Bill! And, but yeah, I like to use Rocket Sneak Attack on the first turn, if I can, to prevent issues. I, I know there's no more trainer cards in the hand, so I'm going to hold on to that for a little while. Go for the flip. No luck that time, but that's okay, because I got challenge as well. I'm just looking for a fighting energy here, basically. Might not be able to get it, I might get it, who knows. I mean, with all this draw power... Oh, there it is. Then we go Jigglypuff, put that in play, put that on Hitmonchan, and we do a jab. I will go and Professor Oak after I can put the double colorless on the Jigglypuff. You know, just, just for the sake of speed as well, you know? You know how this is working by now? Gotta, gotta keep that in mind. So we're gonna put that in play. Um... I suppose I might as well. <laughs> and plop that, of course. I don't really think I can really. Can I check? And see his colorless evolution card. I'm just gonna end up discarding that unless I get something that I can evolve it. Eh. Uh, but well, might as well see the hand. See if there's another trainer. Nah. Then Professor Oak time. <laughs> might as well. So we go ahead. And get that going, we're gonna fill up that bench, we're gonna try the challenge, there's no exceptions to that challenge. I mean, no accepting of that challenge, and then we go ahead and add, oh that's right, I already added the uh, fighting energy, I mean double colorless to the Jiggly, and we jab. <laughs> Dude, the Wiggly is not quite ready yet, so it's, it's only a matter of time though. As a matter of fact, I probably could have just went straight over to uh, Hitmonchan's Special Punch, and I would have won on the next turn, but I didn't know if he would get Bench Pokémon, and I was just better off setting things up in general, you know? So, no Leer. I mean, <laughs> I mean, I can't do any sort of attacks because of Leer, and Hitmonchan is a 2 energy retreat dealio. Oh, you're actually gonna get an attack off there, look at that. Sensational. And... We're gonna go pop that on there. No, no, I, oh, I misclicked up. Like that. 
I got my... No, Snorlax is in play. <laughs> I wanted to do a, the retreat into Wigglytuff. And yeah, well, that was a total waste. Alright, maybe not. I can put that on the bench. Uh, Hitmonchan now retreats. Wigglytuff, attack, do the wave, finish off the Rhyhorn. And then the Snorlax will be next in two turns. Well, unless he gets more basic Pokémon. Ooh, double colorless surprise. <laughs> uh, challenge? Nope. Of course not. Energy removal, that's gonna be used on the Snorlax's double colorless. And Moonstone should go for the other Wiggly, just to get something in play there. That's why I got so many copies of Jigglypuff Wigglytuff, because I could potentially get four of them in play if... <laughs> could you imagine that? Just 60, 60, 60, constantly like that. And yeah, that's pretty much all he could do, huh? Well, actually, I should probably see here really quick. If I'll actually get Beatles Teleporter. Yes, I will. Let's see we get fighting, fighting, double cut listed bill. <laughs> see, it's just, it works amazingly, this deck does. Um, sometimes you don't get the Bills Teleporter off, of course, you know, it's just the nature of the coin flip, but for the most, you know, it's like 50-50. You got four copies, so chances are two of them are going to work. And yeah, I'm just gonna do the wave and call it a game. Did you see how many cards I had in my hand as well, because of all the draws? And that's game number two. How much faster can we beat opponents? Yeah, maybe even turn one, depending on, I mean turn two, excuse me, depending on if we can get the Wiggly fully powered up. Pika Pika, let's go. And, well, I don't think that's going to work very well against my fighting critters, but... What I might try here, because she's got the flying, is to lead with Jigglypuff, hit Monchan on the side, because she might very well lead with Flying Pikachu. So I'm gonna do something, I mean, I should say use something that can definitely cause damage no matter what, and that was a no-go. Uh, you know, no Flying Pikachu that time, it was just, just a hunch, because maybe that could cause me issues and stuff like that, but... Anyway, I want to go for Double Colorless, if possible. <laughs> so let's go and cycle through a bunch of cards there as a double colorless, and then we can do our pound. Yes, I could use more draw power there, but I'm just just kind of just kind of setting up things for the future. I don't want to make her think that I've got something big coming because I've definitely got something big coming. <laughs> so I'm gonna put that in play, and now prepare for a challenge, I guess. But. <laughs> Just see if I can get basic Pokemon. Any sort of basic Pokemon. Head, please. If I don't get heads, well, just I tried. <laughs> eh, Bill's teleporter, alright. Hitmon Lee's definitely a good idea. Energy removal on the Squirtle, because I'm going to be knocking out the Pikachu this turn. Bill's teleporter. <laughs> it's just me having five minute turns <laughs> every single turn. Uh, level color, stop, stop, stop. Do I really even wanna... Like, I... Hmm? I, I definitely want my basic Pokémon, but I'm gonna dump all these energy cards. Just, just for more draw power of getting uh, more Pokémon and more draw power in. <laughs> Maybe I'm greedy, I don't know. Maybe not, because this is... A pretty powerful attack I just unleashed on turn two. <laughs> That's what I mean. You could very much, very well win on turn two. There's the flying Pikachu uh, because of the whole. You can do 60 damage on turn two like that if you lead with Jigglypuff, and then if the opponent Pokemon you know only got one out there, you could very well wipe it out quickly. Unfortunately, we have a uh, little roadblock in the form of the paralysis. But hey, that's that's the coin flipping. How things roll there. Well, that's getting energy removed and calling it, calling it a turn. So, if this Wigglytuff, for some odd reason, is not able to get an attack in... Oh, no, nope, yeah, I was gonna say. Then I'll be able to power up another Wigglytuff on the side. So, do the wave, knock out the Squirtle, grab a prize card, and the sweeping will basically commence... Pretty thoroughly, maybe unless paralysis hits and it didn't 
I should actually use that energy removal on the flying Pikachu in all honesty, but... Uh, I think I'll use it on the Squirtle then. And save that one. Might as well see what I'll get from my quote-unquote bill there. Got another build. It's <laughs> so like eight copies of bill. Got a bill. Just keep throwing the bills out there and... Let's go ahead and put that on Jigglypuff for the future, and do the wave! Who would have guessed I would do the wave? <laughs> so yeah, you, you can see, you can generate quite a lot of stuff here. And, and by the way, if you don't want to use Bill's Teleporter, you might want to try using Item Finder to bring stuff like Professor Oak and Bill back to your hand. Uh, because what you can do there is instead, it's like, because you get all the draw power in general, you can afford to discard a bunch of cards as a result of that, but this is just the build that I have currently here, so it's up to you how you want to use it. I decided to just do this sort of build to show off different cards and stuff like that, but there's many ways to do the Wigglytuff. Alright, Murray. You may have some powerful stalling tactics, but I have a Wigglytuff, and I uh, you know how to use it. I'm gonna do Jigglypuff lead, because he's using Psychic, and Jigglypuff's got resistance to Psychic. I don't even think it matters that much, because it's that, this deck is so fast, but... Um... Bill? And yes, I got Moonstone already, so that's gonna be... Oh, Rocket Sneak Attack, let's see what he's... Got... Um... I guess Teleporter, just in case so he doesn't get too much uh, stuff going there. Hit on Chan for the lead. Pop that there, and Lullaby. I'll uh, uh, Professor Oak on the next turn to try and go for the double colorless energy, but we'll see. It all depends on what I get in my hand and what I want to play and stuff like that, but for the most part I think I'm going to go for the uh, Professor Oak. Now that Frighten is going to be nulled, because I'm going to use Moonstone to evolve the... Oh, that, oh that's right, I was, <laughs> I was thinking it affected the Jigglypuff, but it affects me, not the Jigglypuff. That's alright, though. Uh, I'll just go ahead and pound instead. He's going to gonna have to eventually try and Nightmare me, I would think. So, yeah. Oh, 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 I see, I see. Double to the Chansey. Haunter is in play, and maybe a scrunch will happen. It does, but I must now be able to go for the Wigglytuff anyway, so... Y you knew the Wigglytuff was coming! It was only... Oh, it was the next turn. I would have drawn it. It was only a matter of time. Let me plop that in play. Hit in uh, energy removal on, I guess, the Chansey to set it back. And then Professor Oak is promised, so that we could fill up the bench with all sorts of poop. I'm gonna go for the lullaby anyway because it used scrunch, but yeah. Um, play energy rule on the haunter. Look at all this draw, <laughs> all these draw, draw power. Uh, I definitely want to get one more basic for the future. So let's see if we can draw it, and we did. So don't want to pick my like maybe get another Jigglypuff perhaps because I think I might just do so. And, and, uh, there we go. So we're gonna put that there, and continue on with our draw power, I suppose. I, I, I don't know if I should bother with the sneak attack, because he probably don't doesn't have any trainer cards in hand, but it might be worthy to see what he's got. Well, okay, I just emptied all his hand. <laughs> And uh, yeah, that's done. Maybe I can get a head flip on that. Nope, this is bound to happen. And I'll use Moonstone later to get that wiggly tough surprise, but for now, that lullaby is gonna happen. And will it wake up though? It does. But does he have a double colorless energy to make a difference? I don't know. He may, he may not. He's got Professor Rope, so he might get a double colorless out of that. It does increase chances greatly, as you've seen. And there's the Bill's Teleporter. Maybe it's the same one I put back in the deck. Who knows? But he got four more out of that. And... Bill for two more. Just like my five-minute turns. <laughs> Neutral damage. That actually could be a little bit more impactful because I, I can't, you know, resist stuff that I could resist before, but... Eh, probably not. <laughs> not that big of a deal. Because I'm just going to get another Wigglytuff going there. 
on the side, and then we do the wave. Who would have guessed we would have done the wave and did 60 damage to a Chansey? Yes, a full health Chansey can be beat in two turns with the Wigglytuff. That is math at its finest. <laughs> and that's the KO. Another Chansey is a go-go. It's gonna take gonna take a little bit for him to actually be able to pull that off though. Uh do the wave. I mean yeah, he might be able to do a scrunch on the next turn, but does he really wanna put that energy on the Chansey and risk it? I didn't think so. <laughs> Because, yeah, I could very well just be knocked out completely, and... Oh, I actually, I should probably do that and wave. So, there's another knockout. And we go with the Mewtwo. Well, he goes with the Mewtwo. Um, he's probably going to be able to use the energy absorption and dish out 10 damage. Wait, actually 40 to the... Oh, no! Wait, 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 what? Did you take out too many... Oh, that was a mistake. You should have left those in there so you could put the energy on the Mewtwo. Well, that's your own fault. <laughs> uh, I'm gonna put that on Hitmonlee to do bench attacks because he might very well just switch out this Mewtwo. And then I might want to switch into Hitmonlee to do the bench attack into that Mewtwo for the future. So, as I said, that's why I got the Hitmonlee. The stop said resistances, and well, I guess the bonus of bench attacks as well, but namely for that I can always get KOs with it. Uh, Alakazam with damage swap. Now that I got rid of the chances, it won't be quite as big of an impact. So. Oh, and especially since I'll be filling up his damage counters on the bench and stuff like that. So I got. You know, I always seem to have a couple of trainer cards there, but. Not enough to really cause that much ire to Wigglytuff. As a matter of fact, I'm t I mean, now that he used that, I wonder if I should try and dump out some of my trainers. Like, say, put Wigglytuff back in the deck. Temporarily, <laughs> so I can possibly redraw it later. And go into Jigglypuff. And then... Well, I guess I'll leave them in play. Do the wave. Because I'm, I'm just going to be filling up his damage counters like crazy anyway, so... Uh, I thought about Professor Oaking to remove that energy card. I'll scoop up. I'll put the Mr. Mine? Really? I, I guess. Because it's not really that vital, per se. And there is... Oops. <laughs> and there is 20 more. But that's not too big of a deal. I'll be able to knock out the Haunter now. I guess he, he should have moved more damage counters over, in all honesty, because I'm just going to keep uh, keep decimating with the Wiggly otherwise. Because right now, yeah, it's not really not really looking too good for Murray, I've got to say. <laughs> and Abra? So, other than Paralysis, I'll be able to wipe that out in one attack. Um, well, that, that could do something. Oh, it didn't. I was going to say, that could do something to the, uh... Oh, oh that's right, I'm at 30 HP, so it, it did manage to do a knockout anyway. Um, yeah, other Wigglytuff. Who would have guessed other Wigglytuff would come into play? <laughs> uh, might as well do that. Actually, maybe I should have did Bill's Teleporter first. Oh, uh, yeah. So I'm not sure I wanted the Professor Oak, because his deck is very stally, so... Uh, so I got that Wiggly. Let's put that Jiggly. <laughs> and you know what's coming in the future, but let's do the wave for now. And put a bunch on Alakazam. A damage swap comes into play. He's, he's running out of HP on his side there, as you can see. Uh, the Confuse Ray could be a factor if heads hits, but I'm, it's not going to stop me from attacking anyway. Because I'm still going to, you know, even if I do 20 to myself, and then he finishes off this Jiggly, there's gonna be another one waiting in the wings anyway, so... Yeah. <laughs> you see how things are going here. So anyway, let's do the wave. Heads, please. Beautiful. Beautiful. That's 60 more, and I don't... I don't think he has that much HP left damage swap over to. Yeah! He quit right there. So... well, confusion. Hits again, but it was already confused, so... Um, yeah, I think I'll still attack with the j the Wiggly because 
I could put something else out, like allow him to knock out a Hitmonlee or something like that if I really wanted to. And then I get a free shot with the Wiggly Wow. Very nice. And another Wiggly... <laughs> Everything wiggles here. It just keeps, I see, it just keeps on wiggling. And... Uh, huh? Oh, wow! <laughs> I was gonna say, I'll see how the attack will go, and it went well. So the confusion, I was getting pretty lucky there with that, but... It was, it was a lost cause regardless, because I had another one coming. And Aaron for the finale, I don't know which one of the two decks he's using as of right now, but you'll see on the sidebar. And nothing. So, uh, oh, by the way, uh, in the actual game, you could end up mulliganing your opponent a lot of cards, because that, there isn't that many basic Pokémon in this deck, despite, you know, having a lot, of, a lot of draw power. But, I mean, like, on the first couple of turns, there isn't that many basic Pokémon, with only the 12. So the mulligans could happen, that could be beneficial to the opponent, but, eh, I'm, I'm pretty sure the mulligans won't matter that much. But for, anyway, for now, I'm gonna go... And just end off my turn without any attack, because I'm going to start stretch kicking that one. But he's trying to power up. Ooh, yes. <laughs> uh, he's using the bench attack, by the way. So you're going to stretch and hit said Hitmonlee, because that's what he seems to be planning on doing here. So, uh, energy. Ooh, I was going to say I'm going to knock out the Pikachu on the next turn with the... Uh, um, powering up that I'm doing here. And you notice I'm not using Professor Oak just yet, because... The, uh, Professor Oak is kind of unnecessary at this moment in time, because there's nothing right now that he can do to hit knock out Hitmonlee, aside from a whole bunch of plus powers and stuff. Uh, so, whoops, uh, yes. And there we go. So, and there goes the Hitmonlee. He tried to prevent the knockout, but it wasn't gonna happen. That's the power of the Stretch Kick, since I can basically choose anything I want. And now I suppose we can do some high jump kicks. I'm not even using the wiggly tough and I'm getting the beatdown tactics in play here. <laughs> um, unless paralysis hits. Oh, it didn't, so that's gonna be another knockout. I should also probably uh, energy... Oh no, no, I can't. I don't even have to. I was gonna say energy removal, whatever he's got on the bench, but yeah, I, I've been working so fast here that I've been just kind of wiping stuff out before, yeah. And last Pokemon, he's not very happy about this. <laughs> yeah, no Wigglytuff is even necessary this game. <laughs> and that's game over. Woo! So, what'd you think of this deck? <laughs> it's another one of those sorts of decks you're probably not gonna make friends with, like the <laughs> energy removal deck, but it works pretty well. <laughs> <laughs> and with that, I'm going to end off the part here. I hope you enjoyed, and I'll see you in the next part when I've built another deck. Although, it would be kind of fun to reuse this deck again. <laughs> in all honesty, you've seen how quick that went.